Ooh la la, are you ready for your summer skin? Hey hey, hello, bonjour everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril, I used to be a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare in Guden. And for today's video, we are going to talk about more, I would say, lightweight moisturizer. Also, stay tuned until the end of the video because I will show you a little trick of how to turn your any duty moisturizer into a more summer-like moisturizer. <laughs> by the way also if you are new yes please come on come on here and consider to subscribe to my channel and to ring the bell to not miss any of my new um videos and well basically i am going to talk about some products so let's go so for this video i have basically class uh, all those different moisturizer uh, more in terms of texture i don't talk a lot about uh, texture like in general uh, simply because uh, you can have a heavy duty moisturizer that feels very lightweight, very uh, liquidy, but at the same time it is really going like to lock in the uh, water. Uh, so you need to understand that a part of the texture is of course due to the type of emollient. For example, it, if it has a lot of shea butter, because this is a butter, it is going to have this texture that is thicker, but there are also a lot of um, ingredient that are just here to create the texture and most of the time this is how the texture of a cream is made like all the acrylates for example a class of um, ingredient that will help to achieve this sort of um, gel cream that you can uh, really enjoy and so on but this is not necessarily related to the level of uh, moisturizing especially in um, Asian moisturizer which is probably why I love them so much because you can have those very pleasant very modern texture but at the same time they feel very uh, lightweight and not very uh, creamy. Of course, if you are into creamy moisturizer, no problem with it also. So the first one is 100% uh, oil free. So this is definitely targeted for those of you who have oilier skin type. If you don't have oilier skin type, you can simply also use it instead of an hydrating serum. It will also work uh, beautifully. This is this one from I'm From. This is the Vitamin Tree Water Gel. I have to say that this one, ooh la la, this is a really, really good one. Also the texture. Is wonderful. So this is um, a gel. I mean, hence uh, the name. That is um, sort of quite firm, but at the same time, when you take it, it's very easy to scoop it. So it glides really nicely. It feels fresh. It is 100% fragrance free. It does have a lot of um, of botanical ingredients. So always. Be careful about that. If you are willing to try it, what I would suggest to you is to just introduce it in your routine and don't introduce any other product and see how your skin reacts. If your skin is a happy baby, keep on using it. It has no smell at all. Yeah, I don't smell um, anything which is excellent. So the first ingredient is actually a watery extract from the water tree gel that has a very complicated name that I'm going to read, which is Hypophyramonoids extract and then this is basically a bunch of humectants i mean the first one is glycerin you cannot go wrong with um glycerin glycerin is an excellent one which also naturally occurs on the skin in terms of efficacy what i love about this one is that it is indeed de deeply hydrating whatever your skin type is from dry skin to the oilier skin type we all need humectants that are going to attract and increase the water content um in our skin barrier and by by the way it attracts the water from the product and if your skin is super dry, a little bit from the outside, but not within your skin, unless you have a very impaired skin barrier. But this is something that so many people um, tell you this is not true at all. The other one that I want to show you um, use a very different um, ingredient. This one is also mainly uh, rich in humectant. This is this one. This is the Advanced Snell 92 All-in-One uh, Cream that is based with Snell Mucin. So Snell Mucin is very, very interesting. Personally, I have discovered this ingredient a while ago, probably around 2012 or 2013, while I was in South Korea. So it was basically in um, every single uh, skincare shop. Um, so in the beginning, I was a little bit skeptical. I am always skeptical, especially with skincare ingredients. But I got a sample, I tried it, and my skin was so plump, like insanely plump. So I was like, I was like, okay, I need to do some research. So at that point, there were not that many papers, but still, there was especially one that is a very, very old one from 
1999, which basically uh, showed that uh, snail secretion, so snail mucin, especially one type of snail secretion, can help to heal the skin. So definitely uh, the snail secretion can help to heal the skin. And it also has some anti-aging properties. Uh, there is like a, a recent paper that actually did a comparison with what we call placebo. So without the um, snail mucin, and you do see uh, a slight reduction of a wrinkle. I do believe that most um, of this result is simply coming from that snail machine. It is an amazing, a crazy, crazy good uh, eumectant, which also makes sense because if you just look at the biology of a snail, um, especially the snail where it is extract, it is a snail that lives um, on the ground, so not on the sea. So this secretion has to protect the snail from the hydration. And of course, because this is from mother nature in a way, this is very, very um, efficient. So the texture, of course, is uh, really interesting. I don't know, I don't understand why Corsarex did it in a jar. It makes absolutely no sense because it is quite messy. But can you see when you use it? It is like really sort of slimy, <laughs> as you can see. So what is inc incredible with this one is that if you have very oily skin, use just a tiny bit and massage it in for the day and it will be enough. If you have more normal to dry skin, you just pack it down and it will really increase the water content in your skin. And you can see because your skin is going to be uh, plumper. If you are super duper fancy, like I am, use the essence that goes with this one first. So this one, the Advanced uh, Snail 91 Mucin Power, you do like a solid coat of this one and then the moisturizer. So during the day, if I use um, a sunscreen that is quite moisturizing, I want this combo would be absolutely perfect for me. Uh, in, on the evening, I do need a more solid moisturizer though because this won't be uh, enough, but I do find that especially for summer, this is such a beautiful one. I'm also um, thinking about those of you who live in a more humid uh, climate. This one also is going to be um, wonderful. Still, um, you may react to snail secretion, so be careful. So what I would do if I were you is that I would just order one of those two you try them first for at least a week. You see how your skin reacts. If your skin is like happy, you can order um, like the other one, but always be careful, especially with those type of formula. Just introduce uh, one of them in uh, a week. So the other one, the other one is this one. This is the one from Crave Beauty. Extremely, extremely simple uh, formula. I have two videos about this one. This is the also simple water cream. I mean, I do like the, um, the formula. The problem that I have with this one is that it is belly, belly moisturizing, probably because the um, uh, concentration of squalane, because squalane in this one in the main emollient is very low. This one, though, would be excellent for those of you who have uh, very oily skin. If you have very oily skin, you pack on your hydrating product. So it could be the snail one. It could be the rice toner from my form that is also excellent. And then you are going to use this uh, moisturizer. This one um, has a beautiful, beautiful um, buttery-like uh, texture. It is a little bit difficult to um, describe it. This is a gel, but at the same time, it feels a little bit buttery, really, really well done. But like I said, it is not um, moisturizing enough. This could be perfect for those of you who have normal skin type you or even dry skin type and you are using a very, very heavy uh, sunscreen. You can use this one uh, underneath, for example, but not in the evening. If you have super early skin, you'll love it. Uh, the next one that is also targeted for more normal to slightly combination, but that is more um, hydrating then the Crave Beauty, the also simple is this one from um, Adalabo, the Coco June Cream. This one also, if you live in a, in a more humid climate, is lovely. Again, this is a gel cream, very, very lightweight. At the same time, deeply hydrating, and it's also uh, pretty moisturizing. So the last one, the last, I would say, proper moisturizer is this one from Curel. I have already featured it in my video about Curel. This is the Wrinkle Moisture Essence. Also, this one for summer moisturizer, this is an excellent, excellent one. The two main emollients in this one is um, a pseudoceramide, which is cetyl PG hydroethyl, no, hydro, hydroxy ethyl palmitamide. My God, I can almost remember it by heart. Um, and uh, dimethicone has uh, an emollient. So it is pretty lightweight, but it also works um, very nice. If you have sensitive skin also, it is lovely. This is one of those uh, gel creams, super pleasant. I mean, 
This is Curel. I am addicted to this brand. I love it. Okay. The next product that I want to show you is not per se a moisturizer, but you can use it, especially if you have very oily skin, is this one. This is simply the Adalabo de Coco Jum Essence. This one is more of a hydrating serum. It doesn't have any um, emollient in it to lock in the water, but lots of humectants that are absolutely wonderful. So if you have oily skin, this one, your skin will um, love it. I highly recommend. Again, all the products that I've just showed you, they are fragrance free. They don't have any weird botanical extra that may uh, irritate your skin. Actually, the I'm from does have some botanical extra, so be mindful of, uh, of this. Okay. The last one, and it's just like, um, how can I say this? A twist that you can take on your moisturizer. This is this one, the Claris, the all of us, um, yeah, the all of the lotion from Claris. So this one, I love this one because this is so versatile. So first of all, uh, the price, the price spans so sweet. It is around uh, $20, something like that. You get 250 amount. Yes, so a huge, huge amount. This is one of those um, gel-like gel lotion cream, very lightweight, a little bit can go a long way. So therefore, if you have more normal to slightly oily, you apply just a little bit, you massage all over your skin. Or if you have super oily skin, you can do my uh, my tip, which is to use it and to dilute it with a little bit of your hydrating uh, toner. So this one from Course AX or simply the one from my from, for example, the um, Rice Toner. And you will have an amazing moisturizer for the day without breaking the bank. And like this, you can still use the same one, especially for those of you who tend to react to a ton of moisturizer and etc. If this one or the one that you are using is just perfect, you just dilute it for the summer to make it more lightweight. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so, so much for being here. Also, like I said in the beginning, consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget the bell to get notified every time I do a new video. Also, and of course, I have my Instagram account. I am Cyril Laurent. I do currently a lot of lives. So if you want to interact with me, ask me a question or something like that, this is also the place to go. Thank you for being, there, for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.